All right guys, so we are in front of our newest house. We bought the house for $5,500. So we're gonna walk you around, show you one of the, you know, the things that we need to fix and uh, take you inside and give you a quick tour. All right, so one of the things that uh, we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do a lot of siding repair, a lot of fascia repair. As you can see, there's some uh, missing uh, face shaft there. If you look over here too, you can notice that uh, the siding kind of sticks out over certain portions of this wall. Um, and the reason for that is the house has been, you know, had some foundation work done on it probably. Uh, so we're probably gonna replace this siding, tear off all this siding, put hardy board up, and then use some of this asbestos siding to patch some of the holes, some of the problems on the rest of the house that still have asbestos siding. So we'll show you guys in future videos how to remove this without breaking it and how to reuse it. Uh, then if we walk around here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the camera, but we have a lot of broken windows. So we're gonna show you guys in future videos how to reglaze uh, vinyl windows. This house also, the gas has been cut off. Now, we'll probably do a pressure test on this house before we decide if we're gonna use the gas or if we're gonna convert it to you know, electric only. Um, but you know, it looks like the gas hasn't been cut on for quite a while. Um, looks like our electrical panel is missing a panel cover, so we're gonna have to replace that. And uh, right here, this whole section right here, it used to be a back porch that they closed in. We're going to completely reside it, um, fix anything that we find underneath here, and we're also going to uh, put windows in. So that'll be fun. We'll document all this and show it to you guys in later videos. We've also got some rotten wood right here that we're gonna have to take care of. Now, if you look up here, you can see that they actually added some homemade really poorly built soffit uh, and fascia up there. So we're gonna have to do that. We're actually gonna be replacing the roof anyway. Um, so we'll be doing a lot of work up there. That's pretty much it for the outside. You can see if you uh, look over here at these windows that when they, uh, when they installed new windows, they didn't trim them out very well. And uh, so we'll probably re-trim those out, make them look a little bit better. Uh, maybe put some of that extra asbestos siding underneath them so we don't have to have three uh, one by fours underneath the windows or two one by fours underneath the windows do whatever we can to make it look better All right So one of the first things that I noticed about this house was the door is actually too small for the frame So they actually just put a two by four up here. So they didn't have to replace the door I don't know how well the light is gonna do but you can see that the door there's this big gap right here So we're gonna replace this door also if you look at the paneling on the wall as you can see it's really wavy we're actually going to rip all this paneling out and, uh, you know, drywall is where it needs to be drywalled. Looks like they might already have some drywall here. Um, but some areas it doesn't have any drywall. If you go in here, you can see around here, all the way around so you can see. And this right here, you can see they've got wallpaper and then they've just got these uh, one by fours. So we're gonna rip this paneling off. We're gonna drywall everything that needs to be drywalled. We're also gonna rip these ceilings out, put drywall up in the ceilings. Um, and then if you look at the floors, we're going to sand down, restain, refinish all the floors. Um, this house is a three bedroom, one bath. So I'll just kind of walk you through. This is one bedroom. Come in here, we've got the hallway with the old school furnace. I'm not sure if the furnace works or not. Like I said, I'm not sure if we're gonna get the gas cut on or if we're gonna convert this to an all electric house. And in the bathroom right here, we're gonna do some work. Um, we're gonna replace that sink with a full uh, vanity. We may rip this closet out, I haven't decided yet. We're also going to put a new, uh, we're gonna put a shower head in because as you can see, there's no shower head. Now we come in here to our next Next bedroom, we've got paneling that's a lot nicer. It's not bowing out, it's not buckling, but we have this ugly 
acoustic tile. Now, if I were gonna rent this house out for like $650 a month or $700 a month, I'd leave it. Um, but this house, the houses in this area, uh, the median rent goes, it's anywhere from 1,000 to $1,350 a month. So I need to make it a little nicer. So we're gonna rip this out. We're gonna drywall the ceiling. We're gonna drywall the walls. As you can see, I would leave the paneling up and paint it, but it doesn't go all the way to the ceiling. So we're going to uh, we're going to just rip this down, drywall it, drywall the ceiling, and uh, go from there. This room right here, not a lot of work needs to be done. We have some drywall repair up here. Um, I mean, they did a really horrible job texturing it, so we might even just rip all the drywall out and replace it. Not sure yet. Um, again, we're gonna sand and finish the floors. And then if you come back here, this is what used to be that back porch, which is why you can see all this asbestos tile still on the walls. Um, so we are going to rip up these floors and, uh, and put new floors down in here. And we'll probably build a closet around this hot water heater as well. Kitchen. Kitchen needs a lot of work. We're going to redo the cabinets. We're going to try to, you know, get away with um, putting in new doors and uh, new drawers and then painting it and making it look nice. We're going to put some sort of tile, possibly even uh, marble or granite tile on the uh, counters, which I almost, you know, I, it's not something I've ever done before, but this is a higher dollar uh, area. So we're going to make it a little nicer. Um, and then this wall right here, um, this leads into the dining room. If this room is not, or if this wall is not a load bearing wall, which I don't believe it is, uh, but either way, I'll make a video showing you guys how to tell if it is or not. Uh, if it's not a load bearing wall, we're going to rip it out and we're going to open it up into this dining room right here. And we're going to make it uh, a kitchen and a dining room all together, which will make the house look a lot better. And we'll just put down new floors so it matches. As we do all this, guys, we're gonna document as much of it as possible so that you guys can see all the rehabs uh, and, and hopefully learn something. Uh, that's all we got for you in this video. In the next video, I'm gonna break down uh, what I expect it to cost and how much I think we can uh, get for it in rent, and I'll just kinda show you uh, a little more in depth on my process for my houses. So we'll see you in the next video. Get it off, get it, get it, get it, yeah.